Here at Special Effect, we work with disabled gamers and help them find ways to be able to play. We often meet people who can use one joystick and two buttons, so in this video we're going to have a look at a selection of games that you can use with this control setup. Some games are designed to be played with one stick and two buttons, and others work well with reduced controls. FIFA 18 has an optional two button mode which allows you to use left stick for player movement, and one button for pass or light tackle, and another button for shoot or hard tackle. Although many racing games allow for more inputs for extra control, we often find that you can play with just one joystick for steering, a button for accelerate, and another button for brake and reverse. In this particular video, we are showing Burnout Paradise using this control setup. Here we're having a look at Gran Turismo and Forza Motorsport 7 using the same control schemes. In Crash Bandicoot you can play using a stick to run around, a button for jump and another button for spin attack. In Limbo you use the left stick to make the character move around, one button to interact with objects and another button to jump. If you like Limbo you might want to have a look at Inside which uses the same controls and has a similar gameplay style. In Toki Tori 2 you use the left stick to make the character move around, one button to stomp and the other button to whistle. You use these two commands to solve puzzles within the game. The character will jump over objects that aren't too high automatically. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe allows you to play the game with reduced controls due to accessibility settings within the game. So here we're using left stick for steering, we have auto accelerate switched on, and we're using our two buttons for brake and use item. Nidhogg 2 is a side-scrolling sword fighting game where you use one button for attack and the other button for jump. You can aim your attack using the left analog stick up and down. The original Nidhogg has the same controls. In Bush League Hockey you use one analog stick for player movement and for aiming, one button to pass and the other button to shoot. When playing defensively, you use these buttons to tackle your opponent. The next few games we'll look at in this video only require one button and one joystick. Here we're having a look at Sonic Mania. In Sonic Mania, you use one stick for player movement and one button for jump. Earlier in the video, we had a look at FIFA 18 and its two button mode. FIFA 19 has two button mode but it also has a one button mode where you use one joystick for player movement and one button for pass, shoot and tackle. Donut County is another one stick one button game. You generally use the button to progress dialogue and the stick to move the hole around and collect the items as a way to solve the puzzles. Dino Dini's Kickoff Revival is a retro style football game that uses one button for all commands and the left stick for player movement. Thanks for watching this video and if there's anything that we can do to help then please do get in touch. Further information for some of these games can be found in the description below.